Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I want to come in here and I want to talk about the movie Get Out. Yes. I am excited and I think a lot of people were excited because um, this movie finally placed black people in a different character rather than um, slave movies or down and out. <laughs> So it was good and refreshing that, you know, to see us in another, um, another, um, character, you know, being this, in a movie, being a thriller. And so I really loved it. And, uh, Jordan Peele, written and directed by him, you know, Key and Peele. So, um, this was good. Good from the start to the finish. Um, made you think. There was a lot of like little subliminal, not really subliminal. If you, it's not subliminal if you gotta know you're, you know, being African American and things that, you know, we encounter the innuendos or, you know, the way that people think about us. So, um, I don't know if I may give out, I guess, a little, some spoilers of as I go talking about the movie. I think the movie is something like an hour and 20 minutes, I think so, 20, 20 something minutes. I think it's 140 minutes, something like that, I think so. So, um, you guys, you've seen the trailer. So, um, there's a black guy who has a white girlfriend. And they're going to meet her parents for the weekend. And so um, the black guy also has a friend. He, the black guy himself is, you know, accomplished photographer. He's got some things going on for himself. And so um, he goes up to meet the parents. So they leave. And during their, you know, driving up, they hit a deer. And as you go out throughout the movie, you realize, I guess, the deer was him or black people. So, um, you, he goes up, he meets the parents, you know, one's a, I guess, a psychologist and the other one's a neurosurgeon or what. And... Upon coming to um, their property, he starts to see there's a gentleman, a groundskeeper who is black. Or he starts to notice, you know, as he goes on, that the housekeeper is black. The people that keep the grounds, <laughs> the guy is black. And um, he kind of encounters, you know, what they think about, you know, black people. Some of the things that, you know are said, you know, they're questioning his physical abilities, you know, whether he plays basketball, whether, you know, he does sports, you know, they, um, he's a smoker. So they kind of, you know, question that. And, um, one night, actually the mother ends up, you know, hypnotizing him and getting rid of that habit, which is, kind of a precursor <laughs> to what is going on, what she does, how they get these people. So basically the movie, they've been, you know, abducting, taking black people and using them as just pods for these ailing, um, aging, diseased, you know, having diseased people or being blind or, you know, using the bodies of blacks and putting the minds of whites into them, you know, having them live longer. So, um, I really didn't want to give away too many spoilers. Well, you know, and still, if you want to go see this movie, it is a great movie. It's something that, you know, you should really see. And I'm not surprised if some of like the universities possibly use, um, this movie for, some, you know, insights because it has to do with what's going on in day to day, you know, police brutality and, you know, in the light of, you know, what we're going through in our government, how people, you just the racism and, you know, how people view blacks. So 
I think this is a real good movie to watch. I believe that, you know, it could be used in um, education because there's just a lot of tangible meat to kind of conquer in this movie. So many it's a lot so I mean kudos to um, Jordan Peele and I really just hope that he does make some more movies I've heard he's got some you know other stuff on the burner that you know he's wanted to come out and I'm welcome to it please I would love if someone would make a movie pre-slavery that a movie that um, highlights our empires before you know they were conquered or either you know we were colonized and brought to america you see like you know the chinese dynasty you know hung and all of these different places i mean um dynasties you see with um game of thrones you see how you know dynasties and kings and queens ruled in that time I think the closest thing we've had for, you know, as African American is what Shaka Zulu and I think they just recently did a, a re remake of that that again, we're back to the slavery. We were great for thousands thousands of years before encountering Europeans. Religion. I mean, the religion began with us before even Christianity 2000 years ago before you know, Europeans caught on to anything. We were already um, practicing Christianity, Islam, you know, and different things. And I would love to see somebody bring that into fruition. I mean, to really, there's so much, <laughs> so much that can be done. And we just need to, you know, support the makers. I really am sorry that, you know, was it uh, Nate's movie? Um, Birth of a Nation did not get, you know, what it deserved. And I think that was kind of like it's sabotage. But um, it would just be great to see more movies made that show, that showcase talent, that addresses issues, that brings our history to the forefront. Front, forefront. And, um, that would just be great to see. That's my little tangent. But anyway, back to the movie. And something that was great to see is that the character actually lives. Oops, I gave that away. <laughs> to see the character conquer and to live. And I think even if I give away, you know, you still go see it and it's still a good movie. If I give some things away. So I really really enjoy this movie this is a movie to go see and um really creative really surprising and go see it i give it a 10 out of 10 i, I understand like rotten tomatoes gave it a hundred so um a 10 out of 10 a hundred out of a hundred it is a movie to go see so if you guys saw it please leave some comments below if you didn't see it and maybe you have some questions i mean i totally don't want to be a spoiler go ahead and you know leave some comments below but this is a movie to go see all right